Shalom. We are continuing in the Advanced Beginner class for students who already know their Aleph Bet and their vowel. We are reading Psalm 23, Mizmor Kaf Bet, continuing in verse 4. Gam ki elech bege tzalmavet. Gam means also. Ki means because. Together, gam ki means even though. Elech, the Aleph, is a future verb prefix for I will. The root of the verb is halach, he lamid kaf. It comes from a class of verbs called drop letter imperfect. In the future tense, we do not see the first letter. It means to walk or to go. It is the same as the root for the word halacha, which indicates how we walk out the commandments. B is a prefix that means in. Gay is a word that means valley. You might be familiar with Gay Hinnom, the valley of Hinnom. So Mavet is a compound word. Tsel means shadow. Mavet means death. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Gam ki elech bege tsel mavet. Lo ira ra. Lo is a negative particle. Aleph is the future for I will do something. The root yara yud resh aleph means to be afraid. The root resh ayin means evil. There are several verbs which have a resh in them and they're easily confusable. You can see the video about that. I will not fear evil. Lo ira ra. Gam ki elech beget salmavet lo ira ra. Ki ata imadi. Ki is because. Ata means you. It is a singular masculine form. Imad is a poetic form for the word im, which means with. The yud at the end is the personal pronoun for me. Because you are with me. Ki ata imadi. Shivtecha umishantecha hema yenachamuni. Shevet is a staff or a rod. The suffix the end means your. It is masculine singular. The vav here means and. It takes the form u because it appears before the mem. The root for the next word is mishna. It has a hey at the end in the full form. And it is a staff, also a, a kind of a rod. It has the implication of something you can lean on. The tab that appears after it is in place of the hay at the end of the noun. The kaf sofi is yours, masculine, singular. Hema is the poetic form of hem, which means they. The yud prefix is the third person, masculine, future tense, they will. The root for the verb is nacham, to comfort. The suffix ni is me. Your rod and your staff they will comfort me. Shiftecha umish antecha hema yinachamuni. Kiata imadi. Shiftecha umish antecha hema yinachamuni. Ta'aroch lefanai shulchan. The tav prefix is a future tense prefix for you will. This verb, ayin rish kaf, means to arrange or to set in order. This lamid can mean to or in. The root for this word is panim, which means face. It does look like a plural. The word for face is always plural in Hebrew, panim. The suffix yud is for the personal pronoun, my. Shulchan is a table. You arrange or set forth in my face, in front of me, a table. Ta'aroch lefanai shulchan. Neged tzorerai. Neged is a preposition that has the idea in it of being face to face, in front of me. Tzorer is an enemy. Again, the yid is a personal pronoun for my. In front of my enemies. Neged tzorerai. Ta'aroch lefanai shulchan neged tzorerai. Dishanta vashemen roshi. 
This verb root means to make fat and by extension to anoint. This suffix is for the second person masculine singular you. The prefix is a preposition that can mean with. Shemen is oil. Rosh is a noun that means head. The yud suffix means my. Kosi rivaya. Kos is a cup. The yud suffix is my. Rivaya is a noun that indicates fullness or richness. It is usually translated as abundance overflow. My cup overflows. Kosi rivaya. Dushanta vashemen roshi. Kosi rivaya. Gam ki elech begetzal mavit lo ira ra. Ki ata imadi shiftecha umish antecha ema yenachamuni. Ta'aroch lefanai shulchan neged sorerai. Dushanta vashemen roshi. Kosi rivaya.